Hello everybody. The um, the nice weather went, it rained like fuck, and uh, in two days time apparently it's going to snow. I'm going to talk a little bit about computer games, and as you know there's only a couple that I really play these days, being like COD and Battlefield, and I got Black Ops 2, and I fucking hate the game. I don't like the maps. There is just too many options for people to approach you from. There's never a safe corner, which I know, I'm not saying I camp, but it's nice to have a safe corner to just sort of, you know, know that no one's behind you there and you can look in front of you and stuff like that. But no, in that map, it seems like the fucking, they can come out at any place, anywhere. And um, they have hit. They seem to have fixed the hit detection on it because, you know, you get shitloads of hits on um, Black Ops 2. But unfortunately, they don't always die, which can be somewhat annoying. So I've, um, I'm back to playing Battlefield 3 again, and I just think that Battlefield is the better game. I mean, the, for, for me before, the two sort of differences between the game is the fact that Battlefield was a sort of more of a distant game, not quite so frantic, and you could be more strategical and plan a bit more, and the sniping's better. Well, then I started playing Team Deathmatch on a couple of maps that are quite small. And it's, in my opinion, it seems quicker than um, Black Ops. And a lot more fun. So I'm pretty much, that's it I think. Fuck Black Ops. Fuck COD. I'm going to stick to Battlefield. And um, I got the um, premium pack, which is really good because you get all the really cool maps and stuff with it. But the, um, the one that's coming up in a couple of weeks has got dirt bikes in it. But there is something about Battlefield that I have to admit does my head in. And that is the rented servers. Because how many times if you play Battlefield 3, are you doing really well and you're, I don't know, you're raping people with a helicopter or something? Not spawn, I mean just like flying around getting a good number of kills and you get kicked by admin. Or there's a jet and you're flying a jet and you shoot this jet down three times in a row, you're still flying around and it keeps dying. And you get kicked by admin. Basically, I think it's down to the fact that they're getting fucked off that you're too good a player. Now, I'm not a very good player, but I'm getting better. Um, it's, uh, I'm actually, my physiotherapist has said to me, play Xbox, it's good for your thumb. Because it gets you a good range of movements and just, it's hours of moving your finger, which you normally wouldn't have the patience to do. But I'm getting sick of being kicked by the fucking admin and like, I mean, it's all down to some snotty little pus-faced dickhead who's nicked 20 quid of his mum's money or whatever it fucking is to get a rented server, and as soon as anyone on his rented server is any good, he fucking kicks them! Does my nutting! And the other thing that makes me laugh is you'll notice that there's rules in each group, like uh, no shotguns, no C4, no this, no that. There is always, but always, when I play one of these, it starts out that way, then someone pulls a shotgun out, and then every motherfucker in the game has got a shotgun. So if you do do servers and you put no shotguns, just appreciate the fact that it is going to end up being all the shotguns before too long. Now, there's one other thing about Battlefield that does kind of get on my nerves, and it's not really possible to do it in COD, although you can annoy the shit out of people, is like... The other night I was in a match, and this is not the first time this happened, and I'm like, okay, right, I'm spawning in the RU, there's a guy in a tank, he keeps blowing the jets up and the helicopters, there's some other guy um, just trying to run people over with a jeep of your own team, and I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm on the wrong fucking team. I switched teams and the other fucking team are doing it, I'm like, Jesus! What the, have I come into some world of people who can't even... I mean, Jesus Christ, humans, the only thing that we're any good at is killing each other, and apparently, we can't even pick sides now. We have to... We can't even get to the fight. We have to kill each other before we get there. Of course, we just quit game and choose another one, but... It's just quite... It, but then again, I suppose at times that can be quite funny if you're playing with close friends, but I was never expecting to come across an entire game where both teams are stuck in the RUs, just slaughtering each other. Oh, and a sunny bit. Right, everyone, I'll catch you next time.
but it still just comes down to this one point, which is should a bike that only does 30 be on a road that the speed limit is 70?